When I first became chronically ill many years ago, I received invitations to go places. More often than not, I was too sick to attend. I always thank the host profusely for the invitation and graciously decline to attend the event. However, the invitations abruptly stopped coming when I started using a ventilator. I discovered I was not invited because the host assumed he or she would have to be my caregiver during the event. It usually did not matter if I told the person I could make my own accommodations, would find my own transportation, and could even have a caregiver present with me. I was still not offered an invitation. Despite these setbacks, I have discovered five ways to handle not being invited. Number one, accept your emotions. It is normal to feel upset when others exclude you. You may feel hurt when a family member does not include you in the wedding party. Or perhaps a friend invites other people to come over for a game night, but the invitation is not extended to you. No matter the situation, you will feel a complex mix of emotions. Take time to unpack these feelings. Journaling, deep breathing, or going outside can help a person sort out his emotions. Remember, no matter what emotion comes up, it is valid. If you try to avoid the emotions or deny them, they will most likely intensify over time. Number two, avoid jumping to conclusions. You may feel hurt. No one told you about an upcoming get-together a friend is hosting. What you may not know is the event is being held at a location where smoking is permitted. The friend knows you have health issues. They did not invite you because they knew the smoke would make you very sick. They were looking out for your well-being. Number three, explore the signals you are sending out. When you notice a pattern of people excluding you, it may be worthwhile to consider if your actions might be playing a role. Do you constantly complain about your symptoms or generally have a negative attitude? There is nothing wrong with telling a friend if you are having a bad health day, but if you complain to the person every time you see her, this can be very energy draining. The person may not invite you to an event because he or she does not want your negative attitude to affect the guests who are attending the gathering. If you are not sure if you complain a lot, ask a family member or friend for his opinion. If they believe you seem to have a negative attitude, try to change that perception. Post positive things on social media and thank people for visiting with you or when they call you. Showing appreciation can go a long ways in changing people's perception of you. Number four, communicate your feelings. When you feel left out, talking to others involved can help you understand what happened. Explain why you feel left out. Use I statements or focus on your experience. Do not accuse others of wrongdoing. Instead of saying, you always leave me out. No one invites me to anything. Try saying, the weekend movie parties I keep hearing about sound really fun. I feel a little left out because I've not been invited to any of them. Is there a reason for this? I would like to join next time if that is all right with you. Number five, do something which makes you feel good. You might not always get a satisfying explanation after being excluded. Sometimes you just have to accept the possibility you were excluded. It does not mean you did anything wrong. Do not let it ruin your day. When you are not invited to an event, use the time to do your favorite activity. Take a long bath, watch a favorite movie, talk to a loved one on the phone, or have a game night with family and neighbors. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.